the M10 Booker is set to become the future of armored fighting vehicles. As the winner of the U.S. Army's Mobile Protected Firepower Program, this vehicle has the potential to be an ever-present feature for the most powerful army in the world. Let's discover why this monster was chosen for future development and when we can expect to see the M10 Booker to take the battlefield. In 2016, reports suggested that the Army wanted to create a light ground combat vehicle to maintain the relevance of infantry brigade combat teams when engaged in extensive fighting against a similar enemy. At first, this was dubbed a light tank, but U.S. Army representatives renamed this program to Mobile Protected Firepower so that troops didn't treat it like a traditional tank like the M1 Abrams main battle tank. The vehicle, with a heavy gun and tank-like mobility, is less armored than an MBT like the M1. It's designed to go places the Abrams can't and to fight against enemy vehicles, defenses, and forces without needing the super-heavy armor that weighs down battle tanks. The MPF's development gave an excellent opportunity to fill a void left by the retirement of the M551 Sheridan Armored Reconnaissance Airborne Assault Vehicle. The M551 did have technical flaws, but it was greatly appreciated for its robust operational abilities. This left a gap that needed filling. In 2018, the Army selected bids from General Dynamics Land Systems and BAE Systems to develop their designs to fit the MPF brief. Prototypes of GDLS's Griffin II and BAE's M8 AGS were sent to the Army at the beginning of 2020. Two years later, BAE's submission was disqualified and the Army selected the GDLS model for initial production later that year. In 2023, the Army type reclassified the vehicle as the M10 Booker. Later that year, the U.S. Army revealed the award of a $1.14 billion contract to GDLS for the production and fielding of up to 96 of these vehicles. The overall objective is for 504 vehicles in total, with 14 MPS per brigade combat team. There are two people, both no longer with us, who have the surname Booker and are specifically honored in the naming. The first is Robert D. Booker. He was a soldier who fought as part of the U.S. Army in North Africa in 1943. When fighting against Axis forces in World War II, he used his machine gun to defeat one machine gun nest and despite receiving fatal injuries, guided his squad as they advanced. For these actions, he was awarded a posthumous Medal of Honor. The second person honored is Stephen A. Booker. He was among the tank crew leading the April 2003 assault on Baghdad. After the mounted machine gun failed to operate, he laid prone on top of the tank and guided his unit to defeat anti-tank fire. He was also fatally wounded during these actions and was awarded a posthumous Distinguished Service Cross. Now both will live on through this new vehicle that is set to be part of the U.S. Army's plans for decades. The design of the M10 Booker is conventional, with the driver and engine at the front, with the turret located at the rear of the hull. The turret houses a crew of a commander, gunner, and loader. The design of this turret is based on the M1 Abrams tank using the M1A2 SEP V3 fire control system and the commander's independent thermal viewer. The vehicle also uses components and systems from the ASCOD Armored Tracked Vehicle Platform, which is fully designed and developed by General Dynamics European Land Systems. The Booker also has additional armor panels and under-vehicle protection against improvised explosive devices. For the additional safety of the crew, the design incorporates a tested compartmentalization system for ammunition storage. The vehicle has been designed with mobility and firepower in mind to make it a useful tool for clearing uneven terrain like the contested road to Baghdad or the fields of Tunisia, and then using a powerful gun to destroy fixed defenses and any defenders left crewing them. The U.S. Army already had one mobile tank-like vehicle with high-powered gun for similar purposes, the Stryker Mobile Gun System. That vehicle is armored and turreted, but has eight wheels instead of treads, and the Army is looking to move away from this kind of system. The new M10 Booker will fill a similar role with a body designed for the wars of this century. 
In terms of weaponry, the main armament of the M10 Booker MPF is a 105mm cannon based on the American M35. For secondary armament, there's a 7.62mm machine gun mounted coaxially. The cannon has the ability to fire armor-piercing, discarding Sabo and high-explosive rounds, with a maximum firing range of 1.8 km for the armor-piercing shells and 4 km for the high-explosives equivalent. This main cannon is loaded manually. One 12.7mm heavy machine gun can also be mounted on the commander hatch. For further protection, two banks of four smoke grenade launchers are mounted on each side at the front of the turret. In addition to its weapons, the M10 Booker has Saffron Optic 1's Paseo Commander's Independent Tactical Viewer Long Range Panoramic Targeting Sight. This increases the situational awareness capabilities of armored and surveillance vehicles in all combat scenarios, whether that's stationary and on the move, even at high speeds. This feature is an advanced panoramic sight to improve the survivability and fighting capabilities of infantry fighting vehicles and main battle tanks. It's essential that the vehicle is mobile across a variety of terrains. To do this, the M10 Booker is equipped with a state-of-the-art MTU diesel engine contributing 800 horsepower and an Allison transmission system. This gives an excellent power-to-weight ratio and the ride is further improved with hydro-pneumatic suspension. This all gives troops exceptional speed and adaptability in cross-country navigation. The Booker can run at a maximum road speed of 65 km per hour and has a top road range of around 190 miles. The vehicle is able to operate for 24 hours off the ramp or on arrival at the drop zone. The way this tank-like vehicle is designed means it can move over steep hills, valleys, cities, and rivers with relative ease. The cross-drive transmission system that it's fitted with is specifically engineered to help with propulsion, steering, and braking in medium-track combat vehicles. The hydro-pneumatic suspension seen on the vehicle is developed by the company Horstman Group, which uses high-pressure nitrogen gas and an integral oil damper all contained within the road arm. The suspension appears on each side of six road wheels with a drive sprocket at the front and the idler at the rear. The M10 Booker is priced at around $13 million apiece. Despite the ever-evolving counter-tank tools that are making armored assault vehicles harder, the need for militaries to advance under fire still remains. That makes tanks and tank-like vehicles a durable feature of modern armies, so expect to see the M10 Booker as a mainstay of future battles. What do you think about the M10 Booker? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.